Stanford made some key plays. Uh, our defense didn't going down that last drive. Uh, helped along by what I would say is a controversial pass interference penalty on third and three. Um, and we let one slip away that we should have won. And that takes away from what I thought was a great defensive effort by your team. Until the last drive, Stanford only had about 120 yards of total <clears throat> offense. And even in the entire contest, counting that last drive, about 180 yards. I mean, uh, granted, it was the last drive that uh, people remember, but uh, for those uh, first 56 minutes, your defense was tremendous. Well, the defense played well, made a lot of big plays. Uh, bottom line is we should have never been in that position uh, at the end of the game had we taken advantage of earlier scoring opportunities. And uh, it was just one of those games that uh, seems, you know, the, when you get into a scoring position, you have to take advantage of it. We missed two field goals. We threw one interception and fumbled twice inside the 15-yard line, and uh, those things hurt. <laughs> Turnovers, and we've talked about this. That's, uh, I think, about 15 in the last uh, three games. Is it now kind of a mental thing where people are really just over-cautious, or uh, you know, just what is your feeling in that situation? Well, it it's, looks like it's starting to become one. Uh, we had, didn't have problems with it early in the year. We were doing a super job of hanging on to the ball and not making bad decisions. Uh, uh, some of it was our backs didn't run where they should have. Uh, didn't, you know, concentrate on hanging on to the ball. Uh, we made a couple of ill-advised throws, a couple of passes. Well, both of the pass interceptions were tipped, uh, one, one low, one high. But certainly we didn't play as crisply on offense as we've played. Uh, we didn't make uh, the good plays, the big plays that we had been making. And uh, it just kind of got to the point where Stanford we kept them alive, and they just kept coming back in it. And the, and the, uh, the safety play, I thought, was a big momentum mm -hmm. swing. And I think that is a terrible call, which we'll see later in the film. As you look at uh, the inability to run the football, I know that was a concern at the beginning of the season. You said that you've got to be able to run the football in this league to win games. Did you feel that Stanford was going to be that tough uh, defensively against the rush? Well, I felt Stanford had a much better defense than their statistics uh, would indicate. And certainly, uh, internally on the run, I think their three down linemen are the strength of their defense. But uh, our backs aren't running hard. Our line isn't blocking well enough. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do in the running game. Stanford won the toss of the coin. And uh, in an unusual move these days in college football, I liked it to receive instead of deferring until the second half. So the Ducks will be kicking off to start the football game. You saw Kirk Dennis to kick off for the Ducks. Low, kind of a spirally kick. This is Nelson on the uh, catch. He gets a couple. Elliot Dunning there on the stop. And so Stanford takes over first and 10 at their own 28. They come right out and uh, move the ball fairly well on us. They run a little sweep play here, and they make a cut back and pick up 12 yards in the first down. And second down and 10. Knowing that Muster's not in there, did that change any of your defensive thinking uh, at all? Not really, no. Uh, nearly intercepted there by Anthony Newman. Nice play breaking up the pass. Third down and 10. Rushing three here, basically dropping eight. Uh, well covered, but well thrown, and they get the first down. Try to run the option. Boy, your team has done a great job against the option this year. We really have. Mark Kearns out there along with uh, <clears throat> Chris Oldham. You can see Kearns scraping from his inside position. Bjarni Jensen forces the pitch. Kearns comes out along with Oldham to tackle for half a yard gain. Stanford also called for a holding on that play. So this is a second down and 20. Volpe, they catch him over the middle. Good conversion there by Brett Young and Talbot, and we force him into a third down play. So Johnson back to pass. You mentioned he's a good athlete, finds the crease, and picks up just enough for the first down. The ball is now at the duck 38-yard line, first and 10. Throw out in the flat to James, tackled and knocked out of bounds after a five-yard gain. Ball didn't bounce our way. They blew this dead uh, right there. All the players stop. And and uh, Anthony gets a tackle for loss on Volpe. You can see this ball is dropped, but it bounces right back up to him. And Newman comes in to get the tackle for the loss. So it's a loss of uh, six, uh, let's call it four, I guess, on the play. Third down and eight. Good play there. Pass broken up. Uh, trying to get the ball to James down the seam, and Kalmeyer is there to break it up. So you get your first possession of the afternoon and uh, trying to grind it out and get uh, away from the goal line. Barry gets about one. Second down and nine from the 13. Harper, who started the tailback, uh, 
Gains about one more. And then on third down, Musgrave, a dump over the middle is incomplete. Would have been short of the first down, and so the Ducks are forced to punt. But the defense holds again. And in the first quarter, it was Stanford that actually, uh, as far as field position, had some advantage, but your defense really did a good job. Yeah, they did. Here we are, backed up again. And uh, we, we missed Lattenberry. Uh, I think it was after this series he was lo lost for the day and probably for, the, for next week as well. Little hitch pass out here. Uh, <clears throat> picks up the first down. Now the draw play. Wagner's in at the fullback spot now. Picks up about three. Ball out to the 26. Toss sweep to Harper. Gains about two or three more. And third and five. And Musgrave will hit Tony Hargain just enough for the first down. So the next play we see will be a second down and ten. Musgrave on the rollout. Throws back on the screen to Harper. Good block there by Hunter. And Harper takes it up the field for a big game. Gain of 22. We'll look at it again. This is off of... Uh, Little waggle action. Harper blocks at the top and then slips on back out. I would say Husco makes a good block right there. And Harper makes a fine run up the sideline for 22 yards. The uh, drive bogs down, though, and Stanford uh, forces the Ducks to punt. Cespedes in now. There's a penalty you don't see too often. They call batting the football. Coach right there. Right there. I've never seen that called on a punt. <laughs> They called it on us, and instead of Stanford having the ball on about the 12-yard line now, they we punt it, and they gain about 10 yards in the exchange. Screen pass out in the flat to Volpe, and that's well played by our defense, and they're called <coughs> for holding on the play, or clipping. Clipping penalty is 15 yards to Stanford back at the 31. Second down and 19. Well, well played by Elliott Dunning and Bjarni Jensen. So it's third down and nine. And the receiver is Wolf, who have touched his right knee on the turf. So Stanford now forced once again to punt the football. Obi tries to get to the corner, can't quite make it. And we're called for a clip on the play, one of the few penalties we've had in a kicking situation. All right, as we begin the second quarter, there is no score. The Ducks have the football and are trying to mount a drive. They're deep in their own territory as we pick up action. And this is a key third down play. Musgrave to Tony Hargain, good for 16. Hargain played his best game of the year uh, with the receiving crew thinned out. See Musgrave hits him on the curl here. And Hargain takes it up and picks up a big first down to get us out of the shadow of our own end zone, which we spent most of the first quarter in. So on a first down play, pass over the middle to Obi, gets about four. Then the next play we see after a holding penalty, a second and 16. Musgrave on the rollout, throws back, hits Tim Parker, and we come up three yards short of the first down. So third down and two. Throw to Hargain again for the first down. So. Uh, with the course of uh, this drive here, the Ducks are able to get uh, some field position, move the football out from their deep in their own territory. Eric Lavelle now in the football game at the tailback position. He gets about six. And then we have a third down and eight. Sacked from behind, fumble. Husco recovers the fumble. Now we were in field goal range there. We were forced to punt and pin Stanford back. Good play there by Cassano, <coughs> Joe Taylor. See Cassano's in at the nose. Joe Taylor's in the backfield. Brock's in there. Cassano's in there. Gets help from Talbot. So a loss of one on the play. This is a second down and 16. Volpe shows his strength, uh, breaking Anthony Newman's tackle. Now they're forced to punt. And Holby does a good job handling this on the bounce. Getting over here, tucking it up inside, breaking it back outside, making another cut. Gets some good blocks along the way, and we set up in great field position. So the Ducks have the football deep in Stanford territory, but we'll watch the punt return one more time. Good job up front. Uh, bad kick here. 
Obi couldn't handle it on the fly. It bounced, took a big hop, so he handled it, started toward the picket, couldn't get to the picket, took it up inside, and then broke back out to the picket. You can see we get some good blocks there, good block by Fitzgerald. Kyle Kozak makes a few good blocks, and Obi picks up a big return of about 35 yards. So really, for the first time, your offense uh, comes in here and uh, has got the little spark going for it and is trying to move the football, trying to get it into the end zone. Eventually, you get a field goal. Run there by Wagner on the belly after a good run by Lavelle. Now we run the option, and they stuff the option on us. So the next play we see is a third down and nine. To Parker, short of the first down. Yeah, by about two yards. So Kirk Dennis in to attempt a 30-yard field goal. It is up and good. And so with 3.56 left to play in the first half, somebody finally has scored. It's 3-0. The Ducks have the advantage. Now the next couple of minutes are wild and wacky, so pay close attention because the ball will go back and forth. Tom Talbot. Tom Talbot, nice intercept. Turn on the speed, Tom. Rob <laughs> gets caught from behind. Uh, down to the eight-yard line. Uh, good hit by Kearns on the play. Uh, we'll look at a replay of this. Uh, well covered by both inside linebackers. Brian Johnson throws over the middle, tipped by the receiver. Kearns levels the receiver, goes into Talbot's hands, and Talbot gets caught from behind by the other wide receiver, but he's down to the 10-yard line. But disappointment here, and you'll see what happens. Musgrave's pass is deflected by the safety, and then it hits Hargeen, and then pops right up into Stanford's hands for the interception. Follow the bouncing ball, and we give it right back. Well, they uh, do just about the same thing moments later. Johnson back to pass. He's sacked by Brock and Jensen. Good job here, uh, not taking the inside fake by Brock on the stunt. Makes a tackle, Brock, uh, for a sack. So Stanford forced to punt the football. Not a good kick. Comes out to only the 35-yard line, and so you've got great field position again. Shank that one, and uh, now we'll see if we can do something with this one. Musgrave on a rollout, throws back on the screen, lofted it in the air. Stanford had it well covered, no gain. Musgrave now goes down, trying to hit uh, deep, incomplete. Musgrave now goes down, trying to hit uh, deep, incomplete. On third down. Third down, almost intercepted, and then almost caught, and we're forced to punt the ball away again. Actually try a long field goal. The That's right, we do. I'm sorry. 52-yarder. 52 yards, missed badly. But third. you get another break, because uh, on the next play from scrimmage, Johnson to pass, looks over the middle. Intercepted by Talbot again. Talbot played an outstanding football game. He sets us up again, and this one, uh, although it's not as far, to, it's a lot further to go, we uh, finally take advantage of it. Johnson on the rollout, gets pressure with people up in his face. Talbot makes a good break on the ball, makes a nice catch and a powerful run. And it was a 15-yard penalty assessed at Stanford for a personal foul, so you get the ball at about the 20-yard line. And Musgrave on the rollout here. Can't find anybody open. Pulls it down. Picks up about five yards. And on third and one. Terry Cavell up and over for the first down. And you're at the eight-yard line, first and goal. Try a little slant pass here. <laughs> Scramble around. Uh, everybody's kind of wondering what's going on. And Musgrave just unloads it to Hargain and makes a nice catch in the end zone for the touchdown. So you get the touchdown. Uh, right at the end of the first half, and you'll see it again. It's supposed to be a quick pass, and uh, it was covered, and Musgrave started scrambling around here, and the receivers did a good job trying to get open. Hargang came from clear over on the right side and came across the end zone and came back to the ball. So the Ducks with the PAT, 10 to nothing at the end of the first half. So the Ducks are leading Stanford by the count of 10 to nothing. And uh, as we mentioned, the Ducks uh, had played brilliantly defensively, but as we will see early in this quarter, a key play on the special teams actually turned some of this momentum around. The Ducks get the first possession of the football. Derek Lavelle takes it out and gives the Ducks uh, 
the football at the 31. And our running game uh, not working very well. Fumble the second play, and Musgrave recovers it. Now we're in a third and 10 situation. Musgrave back to throw, throws complete to Green, and, and Rod kind of danced a little bit rather than using his speed and trying to get the first down. We come up short and forced to punt. So Stanford takes over. Number 25 in the backfield for the first time in the afternoon, Brad Muster. No surprise, the carrier of the football on first down, Brad Muster. Breaks a 10-yard gain in the first down. Big, strong back tackled by Tom Iyer. So it's a first down. Back to Muster, a little better job. But the guy always seems to fall forward. I mean, <laughs> pretty tall, strong. pretty big, and he kind of just falls forward for about two or three yards. Big play here by Poots here on third down, getting the sack of Brian Johnson. See it again on the replay. Poots here just fights through, keeps coming, takes on the center guard and gets to Johnson for the sack. Good coverage downfield. So Stanford is forced to punt. Robinson in the ball game. Punts. Big, big turning point here. Misjudge where we are on the field. Now watch where OB is. He's on the three. He gets, he's still not in the end zone. Gets knocked into the end zone. And the forward uh, momentum uh, basically is at about on the one or two foot line. And this is not a safety. You can see this on the replay. He's still in the field of play, gets tackled, gets hit. He's still in the field of play. The ball has not crossed the line, gets tackled and knocked back into the goal line. And that is a terrible call. That mar ball should be marked on the, about the one or two foot line. And this is not a safety. Major turning point in the game. So you've got a kickoff on the free kick, and I thought here the defense did a great job because now Stanford's got momentum. They're kind of fired up, but your defense came in and said, hey, that's it, three downs and out. They really did. Uh, nice play by Blakey on the last play. Good play here by Anthony Newman, keeping Muster to about a two-yard gain, and Stanford's forced to punt. We can't move the ball. We're, we punt back, and this is a beautiful punt by Sesky. It's real high. Our coverage looks like they think they're going to fair catch, and boom, just takes it right up the middle. You can see we arm tackle a couple there. Uh, Grant is the leading punt returner in the league. Great play by Cespedes saving the touchdown. So again, the defense is pinned deep, but comes up with the big play. And Muster on third down when they had 12 men on the field. Uh, now they're penalized for it. We held him just short of a first down, but now they're in a third and very long and a nice play there by Talbot and Kalmeyer breaking up the pass, forcing them into a field goal situation, which they convert to make it 10 to 5. So it's 10 to 5. Sweeney, who had been the kicker last year and had been replaced uh, this year, but then back in the lineup because of an injury to the regular kicker, comes in and kicks it, and now the Ducks back on offense. And Lavelle catches one over the middle for about an eight-yard gain, breaks it off tackle, picks up about six for a first down. Comes the option play. Musgrave picks up five. The next play we see is third and four. Dumps it out here to Lavelle. And Lavelle makes the first down. So it's first and 10 now at the Stanford 42. You got a nice little drive going here. Here's a terrible missed call again by the official. The ball's in the air. I'm, I'm complaining about it. The uh, man hit our receiver when the ball was in the air, and it was a no call. It should have been pass interference. Run the option again, pick up three. Third down and five. Musgrave hits Hargain. Hargain takes it up the sideline and out of bounds for a big first down. We'll look at it again. It'll come right at you. Hargain's coming out of the backfield, swings up, reverses off the linebacker, comes to the outside. Takes it up the field and goes out of bounds. You're in great shape here. You've got the ball at the Stanford 17-yard line, but one of those miscues that's happened in recent weeks right Russell, here. Russell Lawson gets the ball knocked loose, and Stanford recovers on the 9-yard line. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. 10-5, Ducks holding on to the lead. Muster again, you can see, is powerful, but gains only about a yard. And on third and four, Try to go to him again, but again, the defense converges on him. And play by Talbot. He's there first and holds him short of the first down. Now the offense comes back again. A little roll out here by Musgrave. Throws complete to Parker for a first down. 
on the replay. Musgrave uh, rolls out behind. Good block by Lavelle. Steps up inside and finds Tim Parker close to silent. Tries to take it up the field. Can't keep his balance. Steps out of bounds to end the third quarter. And there's the score. We start the third, uh, fourth quarter, excuse me, with the Ducks holding on to a 10 to 5 lead. The Ducks have the football, are in Stanford territory, trying to get another score to build upon that lead. Another pass to Tim Parker for first down. And again, we're moving into excellent field position. Off tackle play to the weak side to Lavelle. And he picks up about three. Critical second down play here. Takes the play outside. You can see the ball starting to come out just as he goes down. And it's a fumble. He should have run the ball up inside where the play was designed. Now Brian Johnson comes on the bootleg. Ball stripped out, but we can't get to it before Johnson falls on it. Good play by Brock. You can see Bjarni Jensen coming in, 95, containing. Gets pushed in the back there. Ball stripped out by Brock. Poots here goes for it, but the ball bounces right to Johnson. So Stanford maintains possession of the football. The next play we see is a third down play. Third and 11. The completion to the tight end Price uh, maintains his balance and gets the first down. Good play there by Stanford. Broke the tackle. Mm. Good hit by Anthony Newman on the sideline. Well covered by Chris Oldham as well. So uh, that was a Second down play. This is a third down play, and this is a similar play that we saw Stanford run late in the ball game in a third down situation. Right. Now we're back with the football. We run the cut up inside uh, to Lavelle. He picks up three. Musgrave back to throw. <coughs> Throws a little pass over the middle to Rod Green. So it's a fourth and of inches. Fourth and about six inches, and I decided to go for it on our own 30 yard line. Uh, we pick up the first down. And then we come right back and give the ball to Stanford. On the bootleg, Musgrave throws, tipped by Parker, intercepted by Stanford. So Stanford on the turnover now has the ball at the Oregon 42. Actually moved back because of a penalty. This is a third and seven and a good play again by the defense. Big play again by Anthony Newman on the quick toss to Volpe. Uh, Newman comes from a safety position, <coughs> turns it in, hangs on for the tackle for about a six yard loss. So on second down, and long yardage, Johnson to pass. Try a similar play with the tight end crossing, and this time Chris Oldham gets in front, uses his quickness, and intercepts. I'll look at it again. Good play by Oldham. You'll see him number two, just going now out of your picture, the tight end's going from left to right on the screen. Oldham steps in front and intercepts. So eight minutes, 40 seconds left to play. 10-5, the Ducks with the lead. You begin a drive here that uh, actually looks like you're going to get some points, and uh, I guess any points would really make it difficult for Stanford to uh, either win the football game, the best they could do would tie if you got a field goal. It would. A touchdown really puts it uh, in a position they're going to have to score twice with not very much time left. Good run up inside by Lavelle here. Uh, another run up inside. We pick up five. Now we're starting to move the ball a little bit better. Things seem to be going all right. Uh, we get short of a first down on third and one. Now it's fourth and one again. We like to go with a sweep on fourth and one. And Lavelle goes up and over the top for three yards and a first down. The clock continues to run in this situation. And we, uh, that's a second down play, a trap play. It worked a little bit earlier in the game. Didn't work here. Now we're forced in a third down situation. And we're short of the first down, but now we're going to attempt a 48-yard field goal that would put us up by eight. And Kirk Dennis again uh, pulls this badly to the left. So three minutes, 36 seconds remain in the football game. This is a third and three play. We're going to look at it again, Coach. Pass interference was called. This is close. I thought uh, Brett Young played this extremely well. He got there when the ball did. Uh, the ball went off the receiver's hands. And instead of them being in a fourth and three situation, now they get a first and ten. Big, big call in the game. And a big, big play as a result. Coming right at you. Jeff James makes a great catch. Uh, Tom Meyer uh, playing the receiver, I thought, rather than the ball. He might have had a chance to break that up. Third and six, we get out of our rush lanes here. Don't do a very good job containing Johnson, and he picks up the first down. Stanford uh, has already called a timeout, or does call a timeout in this drive here. 
roll out here. Anthony Newman had a chance uh, to intercept it, couldn't hang on. So after an incomplete pass in the flat, this is a third down play, third and 10. And they run the kind of a trap play to muster, and they come up a yard short of the first down. So after a timeout, fourth and one. They run the little rollout here, hit muster, and they pick up the first down. So it's first and goal from the three with 48 seconds remaining. And then muster takes it off tackle for the first down. I mean, for the touchdown, excuse me. So now Stanford goes for two, and this is a big play in this game, as it uh, turned out. It is a big play, and uh, Devin Fitzpatrick uh, hesitated there when he shouldn't have, when he should have been coming upfield, and we lost containment, and Johnson ran it in for the two points. So the Ducks need a field goal to tie and a touchdown to win. Boy, you come right back. The first two plays, boom, you're right down the field. Not much time left, 39 seconds. Olby does a great job getting out of bounds after making a big catch there on first down. Musgrave steps up again and hits Hargain. Couldn't keep his balance. And we're down to the 21-yard line. See this again on the replay. I believe if Hargain could have kept his balance, he might have been able to take this into the end zone. You can see at the top of his picture there, we've got a blocker outside, and he could have run it to the corner. So it's first and 10 from the 21. Called a timeout. You have a couple of timeouts here. Timeouts aren't a problem, it's the amount of time. Almost a nice catch by Hargain on the one. Can't hang on, couldn't get his feet down anyway. Now we come back with 12 seconds left on the clock and throw deep into the corner for Hargain. Hargain actually breaks that up. Now we're left with seven seconds. We can either kick the field goal, try to go for the touch in the win. We go for the touch in the win. Take a little bit longer than I would have liked here. Ball's thrown into the end zone, bounced up and around, and time expires. Defense, you can say defense played well the last two weeks, but we have two losses, so we're not as happy as we could be. We'll see you next uh, Sunday as we have the Oregon Football Show 87. Until then, for the coach, I'm Todd McKim. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Oregon Football 87 is made possible by Ed and Art Mashofsky, Mashofsky Lumber Company, Portland, Waddle's Restaurant and Original Taco House, Harold Taylor, Taylor Electric Supply, Portland, The Oregon Club of Portland, Winona Martin, 